So hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Joachim Wiersma and today we're going to repass my Boba Film uh, Fennel Leopsis with those very, very, very long leaves. Maybe we saw the unboxing video a while ago. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to do a repass even though, sadly, let me check if you can see it, that new growth didn't make it. But in there, I see new roots, uh, root tips. So I think it's time to do a repot so those roots can settle in a new uh, setup. And plus, because the moss is just bad. So I'm not willing to risk to uh, let those roots die off in bad media. So even though it's not a new, uh, maybe the best time, I wish that new growth would start uh, off, keep kept on growing, but it didn't. So hopefully we will get a new one. But like I said, I'm going to take advantage of the new roots that it uh, still shoots out. So uh, let's uh, let's do this. This is going to be a challenge with those long leaves. But uh, anyhow, we will uh, try our best. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, first thing is to try to get her out of the pot. Here she is. <laughs> the tag. Whoops. There we go. Uh, yeah, I need to work on the edge of the table so the leaves can uh, hang down. Let me uh, quickly show it to you guys. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, I hope uh, I will not break them, of course. First, I'm going to uh, try to get this thing off the hook so we have a little bit more space to work with there we go that wasn't that hard now comes the hard part I guess so yeah um, how do we do this it has some uh, as you can hear probably some pebbles on top Oh, this comes out very slowly. Oh yeah, look at that. New roots. I hope you can see it here and there. And I just watered it yesterday, but it's already uh, fairly dry. I'm going to soak it because this is too dry. I see uh, quite a lot of uh, new root tips, so it might be a good, uh, good moment for a repot. But I need to soak it. I will be uh, right okay. back. So I did get some water, as you can see. Let's put her in and see, uh, maybe uh, we can uh, even do some, uh, get some media off here in the water. I'm not sure, but first we need to, uh, like I said, uh, give this a bit of a soak. Try to find a nice angle to uh, get water everywhere in the media. Let me check here. Yeah, this uh, might take a while, so uh, I will give it and a few. So I did get a little bit more water, so it's now more uh, in the water, but a little bit better. And I want to try a steak. Maybe I can tease the moss out a little bit easier. Who knows? Because I want to try to keep as many roots on there as possible, of course. Yeah, it is starting to loosening up, so that's the first, of course. I think we have also some dead roots. So I'm starting in the back of the plant, in the oldest part, where probably the most older and probably dead roots are. So I can hopefully do uh, not as much damage to them. But it's, very, it's a big clump. But here comes a little bit of sphagnum moss. Already. Yeah, a little bit more. So we just need a start, of course. And slowly, but gently tease the moss out. And if it takes too long, I will speed it up a little bit, of course. Otherwise, it's <laughs> just taking too much time. But I see a live root even here. So it looks very promising, to be honest. But yeah, I'm going to speed it up. So this may take uh, quite a few minutes. <laughs>
guys this is round two i just took a little break because this is taking me like a forever but anyhow i see already quite a lot of good roots uh, root tips so i hope i can manage to let them stay on there and have the have this job done because uh, yeah but I need uh, to say that every single time I uh, have something like this, well, this is fairly extreme, but I think, uh, well, luckily I'm growing in inorganic, so I never have to do this again once he is settled in a new setup, because this is not fun, you guys. I'm breaking so many roots, but I have to take it out. Anyhow, I, will, I want this job uh, to be done, so uh, I'm going to speed this up again, and let's, uh, let's uh, get that moss off. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it took like forever and still i did break out some roots oh, but yeah terrible 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 the, 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 those clumps of moss you guys it's just so bad so bad for repotting anyhow i uh, tried my best oh that's even a lost root loose root um so yeah we have some whoops i'm sorry we have still some uh, moss left on the roots, but I'm not uh, going to uh, be too picky about it because it, that will probably will be fine. I'm going to spray it now with hydrogen peroxide and then uh, finally we can uh, put her back in her new home and give it a rest. But uh, nonetheless, it has quite a nice root system. So that's uh, the positive side, but a lot of snapping. Anyhow, I'm going to clean up and I will see you uh, in a little bit. Uh, yes, okay, I have everything ready, but I'm running out of batteries uh, somehow. I apologize, so I need to be a little bit quicker than usual. Took so many uh, energy, apparently, from the batteries while I was working with the roots. I'm not sure how much I could get uh, filmed because of the batteries. But this is first is a uh, layer of the bigger pumice and then I will fill it up with a small pumice and that is that and in the meanwhile I have my uh, plant here over at the sink and I left it there because of the leaves but I had it uh, I just sprayed it with the hydrogen peroxide and let me quickly check is this root still attached yes it is. So we're going to place her in a, a net pot. So I think that will uh, suit her. At least uh, let's hope so. And she deserves a beautiful new home. Having all these troubles. So here is the smaller pumice. I'm just filling the empty spaces up. Like we always do. But I'm... Whoops. The water meter needs to be here. Let me turn her around a little bit. Like that. So now we have room for the new growths. If a new growth comes from here. It's fairly big of course, but it should be uh, should be fine. 
and I'm going to push her a little bit further back in a minute. First I need some media there. Like this. So far so good, I think. Let those pieces fall in between the roots. Those beautiful pumice pieces. And let me check. Yes. We can have a little bit more here. And there, because they don't like to dry out, so they uh, should be the media quite close to the pseudo bulb. Let me uh, get those smaller ones out, don't bury them. <laughs> and it's fairly to the side of the pot, but I saw that the new growth starts just around here, the base. So I hope it will start out here somewhere. And then if it really starts to grow, I can give it even more room because this net pot is, is, uh, can be potted on again. It's very easy. It's not as difficult as we just did. So I think it uh, should be fine. And I didn't want to uh, take out or take off the uh, older bulbs yet. So and I don't want to bury them, but these are pebbles. So it should be fine if there are a few pebbles on the on those uh, older bulbs here, because these do not uh, hold on to water too much. Anyhow, so yeah, you guys, what a repot! <laughs> Still, I hope you enjoyed it, but I was really, really focused on the roots because, oi, oi, oi. But I didn't uh, enjoy it, uh, the repotting itself, I must admit. It's just, I feel so bad for the plant. Breaking so many roots, it's just... <sighs> I don't like it. But it had to happen. So I hope she will settle down and start all over again. And then I don't have to mess with her ever again as much as I just did. So I did uh, put some hooks on here. Here, I'm sorry. As you can see, so it can ha hang with the uh, on the fail wall. Let's put it like there. These out. These are annoying. <laughs> like that. I think this looks very pretty. Took a while, you guys. It took a while, but look at this. So yeah, I'm going to put it back on the wall, and we will uh, first. I, I will give it a flush. Of course, I will do it off camera. And then uh, I will see you in the in the greenhouse again, finally. <laughs> so here we go, you guys. Let's have a quick look before my battery. Uh, this one is also dead. <laughs> Turn on uh, off the fan because it's a very nice day. But here she is. Here she is. Back at the same spot I had here her here already. But uh, yeah, I think she's looking very nice. So you know you can see even better what we just did but it looks beautiful i think very beautiful thick bulb here so yeah now we leave it to rest a little bit i keep it uh, damp of course and then uh, hopefully it will start to grow new roots again and then i will fill up will fill up the reservoir and then i hope obviously to see a uh, new growth who knows so yeah it's next to my uh, fails <laughs> I found it uh, to be suitable and to be honest as I have it over there in that corner it doesn't take up as much room so I do not uh, keep on uh, bunching into the uh, the beautiful long leaves so that's why uh, I found that spot fairly suitable and it does get quite some light but not too much so I think it's uh, it's going to be happy there who knows anyhow <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit strange and it took so incredibly long. But anyhow, we did it. We managed to uh, make this happen. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And for now, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>